Hello horsey people! Okay guys, today we're going to give Blackjack a little bit of a makeover. We're just going to clip his legs. It's, he's obviously a cob, so he's going to be growing quite a lot of the, what we call the feather. So, And it's getting really hot in England here, so we're going to give him a bit of a bit of a makeover today. Just a, just a mini one, so here's how to do it. Just a little Murray Hawk on the go. We're going to probably tidy all that up if we can. But he's starting to actually go grey where he's a bit older, so Blackjack's 21, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah, give you a bit of a makeover, buddy. Oh, good boy. Give him a little leg. So, here's how to clip some legs. So this actually is like, well, would have been their second toe or something like that, I think. And they've got the, obviously the chestnut here, which is their third toe from where they evolved. And then they gradually just got this one hoof in here. So when you're clipping, obviously you've just got to be a little bit careful because you do not want to clip that because it will bleed and that will be quite sore. So when I clip, I tend to keep my finger on it because I don't really want to clip my finger either. So here we go. guys that's pretty much one done it's not like perfect but you know we're not going to the Grand Prix or anything so it just cools it off because what, what we get these little sort of fly bites in here where the feather gets quite hot on the skin so we want to aerate the skin so we don't get any of that and plus look how lovely and clean he is he's got four little matching white socks which is super cute obviously you wouldn't normally do this and stick your head under a horse but I've had this horse since I was eight years old <laughs> I know him and he is Probably the kindest horse in the world. He is literally such a good boy. You know, I fell off him so much as a kid and he'd, he'd purposely avoid you to stand, you know, so he wouldn't stand on you. He's just lovely. So a little bit far under there, but not the end of the world. The farrier can actually trim this off to shorten this, which um, if you look, it's starting to sort of crumble off anyway. Yeah, it's weird. It's actually made of the same stuff your nails and your hair's made out of this. Is it called keratin? I think it's called keratin. Um, but yeah, so that's one leg done. Right, we're going to do a back leg now, guys. So let's do it. end up not being able to see anything because his tail's so big we do actually trim his tail because his tail gets massive like huge this is half the size of what it normally is it's like oh. so i just cut it down because he doesn't he's only a little pony he doesn't want to be carrying uh his own body weight and hair on his tail really so good boy what are you doing walking over there i'm gonna start this one as we're here Whoop.
trying to do guys is I'm trying to create like a little bit of a fade I'm not very good at it but it's just because I'm not going to clip the rest of him just yet at least anyway so I want to make it look a little bit more more natural coming through the leg so I try to fade it as we come up into here but I'm, I'm not that good at it but it'll be alright in a few days when it grows back a tiny smidgen it does look a bit smarter so it's freshly done isn't it Beach? as you can tell he's really bothered are you? are you really bothered? no so cute so cute so yeah i'll probably trim off his hair a little bit here as well today okay the two legs two legs to go i've got to tidy up the inside of that one as well but ah, it's all right it's doing a, doing the job <laughs> get quite hot after a while so just yeah they're actually not too bad oh good boy managed to get a hair like stuck right in my finger ah, one last leg so if you look around here guys so around the back here you can see he's got a little bit of a I don't know what you call these, but it's where the fly, there's a type of fly and it just sort of buries in and it's not very nice. And this is why we clip the fur really as well, because I think the fly enjoys the heat, if, if that's correct. I think it is. But yeah, you just want to get that to breathe really. So we'll put a load of aloe vera. He needs his legs washing actually. And we'll just um, get them with like a anti doodah soap and then we'll put some aloe vera on. Okay, we're nearly there though. We're nearly there. kind of like his little mohawk by his withers. So he's a bit dandruffy, so we're gonna give him a good old bath and we might even film that actually, guys, at some point. So, yeah, do you want a bath, Beach? He's like, no, I hate baths. It also stops the mane getting sort of caught on the saddle if you just clip this bit here as well. Isn't there, Beach? You good boy. Now I'm no expert at this, but I'm going to try and tidy up his tail, but this is hilarious because I'm not an expert at it. Is it in his mane? Oh yeah, yeah. And we've just got this, this is called your bridal path. Okay, <laughs> Georgie in the background. That's Georgie Porgy with his very manly Winnie in the background. I uh, just need to get this cape a bit longer. Bridal path. Ooh. does guys is I mean it's not the neatest job in the world but it'll do it just clears a bit of space here so when you put the bridle on it just fits a bit better it's a bit comfier for them especially with a horse with a lot of hair like him be good boy you're so cute uh, let's just, just attempt to tidy up his tail let's attempt to tidy up his tail should we guys so the theory is I've never actually been taught this I kind of made it up by watching YouTube videos so <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually done tails before because we just always zapped them, but it used to get so hot with it and it's so big. So this is this is what I think you do. Okay. Oh, good boy. Come on the inside. And just kind of run. Downwards. So it's not brilliant, but it's better than him having a really crazy thick tail, really. Um, it always feels better a little bit for me this side because I'm right-handed. 
So when I put my left hand on, it's like when you're trying to paint your nails with the other hand. So that's a bit better. So do we want it sort of, I mean, the tradition is you want it straight here, but it just looks a bit smarter. So I'm gonna to attempt to do this side with my left hand. So let's see if we can do that, shall we? <laughs> oh no, I'm terrible with my left. Okay. Boy. See, I'm just not very good at my left hand. Need, needs practice, but do you know what? That'll be all right for him. Because okay. this is actually how thick it is. I mean, it is actually mental. It goes, it goes absolutely massive. I mean, it's not the best job in the world, but it'll do. It'll do. Because we can brush all his tail out and it will actually get. Okay, guys, now we're just going to give this a little bit of a beard here, a trim. So, oh, Black Jack. He has got a little bit of sunburn on the go, so he'll be wearing sun cream later as well. It's been hot here in the UK all of a sudden. It's been mad. Right, beard time. Ready? Sometimes I'll clip his ears as well. It is just because it gets so hot, but um, you obviously need fur in their ears. So you wouldn't clip a horse that didn't have much hair in there because you need the hair in the ear to protect them against slight like, ailments and things. Same with the whiskers on their nose, you know, they need it. They shouldn't be trimmed off really, in my opinion. Anyway, so here we go. I think that's not too bad actually, Beach. <laughs> Right, let's do the other side, guys. Oh, the wind's blowing this way, guys. Turn to the beach. Oh, over. So lovely. I think that's about it for today for him. I mean, it's just a short, sweet haircut. Normally, like, you are a good boy. Oh, you're so heavy. Um, I normally give him a whole clip in the summer because it gets quite hot. So if it does get hotter, then I'll probably take it all off him. And we do need to sort this out. So it's done. Good. Well, that'll do him. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I've got more hair on me than Black Jack's got on him now. So obviously, that's really good. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to subscribe. We've got loads more live content coming out. I've actually got a surprise for you all as well. Possibly going to go live with a surprise as well. Something to do with horses in real life. So I can't wait to show you guys. Turn on your notification bell. Ding. Then you know what's coming up. And it's coming up. ASAP. If you have any suggestions, you want to see anything, let me know. Excuse the hat hair today. I look crazy. But I don't care, as long as you've had a wholesome time. Okay, guys, see you real soon. Bye.